Good morning my friends, it's Jo. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would share with you a card. So as most of you know, I am a huge lover of Pink Fresh and especially these product suites. So I am guilty of buying everything in the little set. I buy the stencils, I buy the stamp, if there's a hot foil plate, I'll buy the hot foil plate, I'll buy the coordinating die, I buy the lot. I just, I love the, I, I suppose a bit of um, FOMO, fear of missing out. But anyway, I thought today what I would do is I'm going to create a card with this beautiful stamp. This is a new one called Detailed Leaf. It has some beautiful sentiments on it. There's the back, just to give you a bit of a look. It also has a coordinating die, and the die also has a couple of smaller ones to cut out these sentiments. It has a hot foil plate, and it also has a coordinating stencil set. There's four stencils in this. So you kind of get this mixed look. Now I have created a card using the whole lot, which I'll share with you a little later. But today, I thought I would just use the hot foil plate and I'm going to color it um, without the stencils. I'm going to try some ink blending. I'm not gonna be using the stamp either. I'm just going to be using the hot foil plate and the die. And again, this is such a simple um, image. You could quite easily fussy cut this out. I just really like the look that the dies give. So, I have um, my hot foil machine heating up just over here and I have my inks so these are the inks that I want to try for a bit of a blend we're going to go with the tattered rose worn lipstick and aged mahogany so I'm going to start off with the tattered rose And one of my hairs as a bonus. Gross. So I love ink blending. I, I use it all the time. But this is just a colour combination that I haven't tried before. And I thought it might look quite pretty. Okay. So there is our tattered rose. Now for a little bit of the worn lipstick. I think this one might need re-inking. This is a bit of a, a go-to one. So I've probably said it a hundred times, but when you're ink blending like this, you want to make sure that you're ink pads are nice and juicy and that you've got plenty of ink also on your brush it will make life so much easier for you so I'm going to take a little bit off this now and try and blend just here just so we get a smoother line and now I'm going to come in with this aged mahogany looks quite intense. I find the um, oxides aren't quite as intense as the dye inks because they have like that chalky look. Yep. Okay. Just see if I can blend that line a little bit. That's better. Maybe a little bit more of this one. There we go. That's actually a really pretty blend. I quite like that one. Okay. them away 
Right, so now I'm, I'm wanting to foil on this piece of cardstock. And I want this hot foil plate to kind of pick up the three colours. So we've got a bit of a variety. Grab my machine. So I'm going to use this matte gold foil. So it's not, it's, it is a nice gold, but it's not that shiny, shiny gold. Or I could use a pink. Let's have a look. No, that pink doesn't go. Mm. Now I'm going to stick with this matte gold, I think. I'm going to pop this on my um, plate platform, sorry, just to get warm. Okay. Oh, I might have cut that a little too short. No, there we go. We're good. So this is where my base is. Okay. I've got my shims. My green light is on and we should be good to go. So I'm going to just run this through my die cutting machine. I'll be two seconds. Okay, let's see how we've gone. Moment of truth. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That is really pretty. I have my waist here. Maybe I could foil my waist. I might do that. I just wanted to show you first. You will notice here there's a couple of gaps. That's not actually the foil at all. That's actually the design of the hot foil plate. So, this is still very hot. Let me see if I can grab that for you. I'm gonna leave that there just to cool for a little bit and then I will show you in the plate where that design is. So while I've got my machine out and it's hot, I'm going to warm up my solid hot foil plate and I'm going to be brave and have a go at foiling my waist. So I'm going to let that get nice and hot first. While I'm waiting for that, I will die cut this. Just pop that off to the side there. So these glass mats are really good for cooling down your plates really quickly. So can you see just in here, here is a spot. There is also another little spot here and a little, little spot down here. That's just the design of the plate, almost like a bit of a, a whimsical feel. So it wasn't that the foil didn't pick it up. I just wanted to show that to you. It's foiled really nice. It's a really nice color blend too. Okay, let's die cut. I need some washi. Here we go. So just another little tip too when you are taping down your dies and you've got foil involved, you want to try and not get too much foil um, too much tape on your foil because it will lift your foil so you just want to be really careful where you're placing placing your tape don't stick it down too hard right two seconds while i run this through my machine
side I do have a little bit of washing here go that's really pretty this is such a lovely lovely design so there is our leaf my plates nice and hot let's pop that aside right fingers crossed because I'm going to be totally honest with you I don't always have perfect results foiling the waste but let's have a go I have some card stock here I do know that my machine does require quite a few shims. That's something that you'll need to work out with your machine. Okay, and the other thing I also find is if I put it through my machine once, I then pop it back in the dock again and let it sit for another minute or so, and then I run it back through again, also find that I get a better result that way as well. back in the dock just for another go just to be sure this is what I really like about this machine too is that because you've got this hinge here and you've got the handle here you can hold all this together and when you pull things out from the, the base here nothing moves around so that's one of the benefits that I really like of this machine so I'm going to pop that aside um, I've already die cut just another one of these leaves because I want to make this a little bit thicker. So I'm going to stick that on now. Um, glue. Go. Okay, that's good just to sit for a bit. I really like those colours. Those colours are really nice. Right, let's run this back through my machine. of truth oh wrinkled a little bit here but it foiled perfectly almost perfect it's just a couple of spots I'm going to quickly die cut it out just so you get a better idea. Two seconds. There you go. That's it's not too bad. I'm not going to say it's perfect. There is a couple of little spots there. You could definitely use it. 
like I said, I don't always get perfect results foiling the negative. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's a little bit hit and miss. But for me, I'm not a big lover of this solid gold foiling. I much prefer the, the outline foiling. There's some things that aren't so bad, but generally, even if I get a perfect result after I've foiled the negative, very rarely do I actually use it. But that one's not too bad. Okay. So, next thing, I need my card base. And I also want to cut down a couple of pieces of cardstock. So I'm just going to create a little mat for this to sit on. So this is three by, three by four inches. And then I'm going to cut another one at three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So this one here I'm going to ink up so it looks like a bit of coloured cardstock at the back. So back here now I need to make the decision as to what colour ink to use. I actually think I might use this colour here. Let's go with that aged mahogany I think. if you can hear that washing machine going in the background hopefully that's going to finish soon okay right so I don't need to come right into the middle because we're not going to see that so I want this to sit over the top here is just going to make this little leaf focal point pop off the front of the card rather than having it sit on the background and get lost. There we go. Just make sure my fingers are clean. Right. So this is the idea here. This is going to be my little focal point. And now I just need to have that on my card front. I could actually stick this on now. I might stick that on now. leaf this was one that I used in that a previous video with that um, mini scrapbooking so it's not a bad little leaf to have or um, embellishment to have for both cards and scrapbooking so there's my focal point now my card base I wanted to show you that you can use your hot foil plates just for embossing so let me bring my machine back again. This one may still be a little warm. Let's work quickly. Right. So this is a hot foil plate. This one is the diagonal stripes. Originally I thought of foiling it, but I actually thought to foil it there was too much um too much happening for me. So I just wanted to add a little bit of texture to the background. So what I'm going to do is I don't need heat for this. I can just use this and get an impression. So I'm going to pop my cardstock down here on top. Then I'm going to pop my shims on top again. Like 
like so. And now I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. So no heat required. Check it out, how cool is that? Just a little bit of subtle texture in the background. So I think that's really nice. So I'll just double check, just to make sure this is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm pretty sure it is. Sure is, yep. So I'm going to have this sit on top here. use some tape. I'm really not a lover of glue. I am so messy when it comes to glue. then we just need a sentiment it's nice and cool yet yeah. so I have a little box of sentiments here that I just keep on hand these are just all little extras that have been left hanging around so that's a little bit too much going on there um, what have we got best wishes maybe it's not too bad I quite like the pop of black um, oh this was another one that I really like to just a note hmm think I'm going to go back with this best wishes yep I'm going to go back with that one I think or maybe the hello I feel like the gold foil is competing with each other yep I'm going to stick with the best wishes Oops, see, too much glue again. Those fine tip bottles just don't seem to work for me. I get them clogged constantly. I hate the constant fight. But everybody to their own, hey. I think right there might work. There we go. I don't think it needs any gems at all. I will share with you the other card that I created. I based this exactly the same off of the, this one here. And this one I did using the stencils, the four piece stencil. But that just shows you, that is such a lovely design. You could just use the hot foil plate alone with some ink blending. So there you go. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, I would really appreciate a like or a thumbs up um, and better still, subscribe to my channel. That would be really good and I can share more with you. Okay, ladies, take care. Until next time, see you later.